Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, my name is Riley Sanchez. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the crew. Welcome to this crazy train I call my channel. Today we're gonna be kind of winging it. We're just gonna go with it. We're gonna use some new products that we haven't used. We, as an I, eh. And we're just gonna kinda catch up together. If you guys do wanna see how I got this look right here, then just keep watching. All right, so let's get started. Yes, I know I look like a wreck. My hair, don't know what's happening. My nails, don't know what's happening. Am I naked? Yes, no. I'm wearing a little like tube top thing in Majiki, but um, yeah, let's just get started. As you can tell, I have gotten a tad bit darker since the last time I filmed. Yeah, I feel like I am so dark and I'm absolutely loving it. Like this is me. This is what I've been waiting for for like months and months and months. I hate winter. I hate being my whitest, even though it's some people's tan. I just, I just feel so ugly whenever I'm not tan. So yeah, I'm really excited to be using products I haven't used on my channel before, or I haven't used in a very long time. Um, I have, I've grew out of all of my winter foundation. So I'm actually using some foundation as my concealer. So that's a good sign that I'm getting dark. You know, I just go a long time without filming and it's just such a weird feeling and I just hate coming back on here just so random I'm just like, hey. I don't know, I just feel weird. I just always have felt weird filming. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to kind of catch you guys up on what my life has been like since the last time I filmed, what I have been doing. Not much, but I'm just going to sound like I'm, it's been exciting. So I don't have my little mirror that I usually use on this side, so I'm just going to have to use my little handheld mirror. Also, if I have tired eyes, look swollen, whatever, it is midnight. It is way past my bedtime. I am an old person. I go to bed at 9 o'clock. No, I really don't. I have anxiety. I don't know how to sleep. Um, but usually I'm in bed by this time. I'm never filming this late. I don't know what I'm doing. I just had this really weird, really weird feeling of just being like, I want to film. Well, that's probably because I've been watching YouTube for the past five hours, but I don't think so though. So I went ahead and primed in everything off of camera. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into my foundation. Whoa, scratch that. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyes first because honestly, I'm just gonna kind of wing it. Don't know what I'm doing with my eyes. So if it gets dark, I don't want it to be fallout on my face. So let's just do eye first. I'll do, I think I'm gonna do brows last too. I think I'm just gonna mix it all up and do something new. So for eyes today, I'm gonna do the Soft Glam Palette. I'm gonna be using all of these shades. Okay, not all of them, but most of them in here. But I wanna do something kind of smoky, kind of fun. But then again, I wanna go like really, just like really natural and glowy. But I think I've done a video like that before. So I'm just gonna wing it. So something I have been doing lately is not priming my eyes. Probably because I haven't really been wearing makeup, but if I do, I really don't prime my eyes. And when I do prime them, I usually use a concealer, but I'm not gonna be doing that today. I think I'm just gonna set my eyes the way they are and start from there. We're gonna do, we're just gonna switch up some stuff, okay? So a product I have been falling back in love with is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Banana. I think it's because I'm tan again, I'm able to use this. Usually when I'm at my lightest, I'm not able to use something that's like yellow like this, but I am obsessed with this right now. It's like the Benai Banana Powder, but like drugstore. Even though I'm pretty sure the Benai one is like really good price. So I'm just gonna take my sponge and just dip it in this powder and that's what I'm gonna set my eyes with. Again, no primer, no nothing, just setting them because they get actually pretty oily during the day. What I like about this powder, it's not necessarily translucent. It kind of gives it off a little bit of a yellow tint by itself. So that's what I kind of like about it. That way it's like kind of lightening my eyelids as well as setting them. Next, I'm gonna jump in to this palette and I'm gonna mix these two shades right here. And it is Orange Soda and Burnt Orange. I'm gonna zoom y'all in a minute, I am so sorry. But I'm just gonna take those two shades and do like a windshield wiper motion in my crease. And I want it to build up to be an actual like orangey color. So I really want it to show so when I blend out the other colors. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe M502 brush. I kind of want to make it more of an orangey shade, so I'm going to jump into my Morphe NC palette right here and just do a tiny, tiny bit of this Stone Fox color right here. Next, I'm going to be jumping into a more darker shade, and I'm going to take Sienna right here. 
while we do this, I know it's going to look a little bit crazy at first, but it'll all blend together in the end, and then you'll see kind of like what we're, where we're going with it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this shade Mulberry right here. And I'm going to take my Morphe 521 brush and just a small packing brush like this. I'm going to take both of them in the same color and pack it on my lower lid. So first I'm taking the M521 brush and just packing on that color a lot and kind of blending it up while I do it. And then we'll go back in with those colors again and blend it all together. I think I'm going to try and kind of bring this a little bit, you know. And I'm going to add a little bit of fairy to my inner corner and my brow bone. Also, don't mind the hairy eyebrows. I'm going to be doing a video after this. It's probably going to be posted either before or after this video. So look out for it. Okay, so I'm not sure if I want to add eyeliner just yet. I wanted to add... I think mascara first and then see if I want to go more extreme and go with the, you know, mascara and everything. So we're going to kind of just go with it. My camera died. I didn't know it because my viewfinder was turned around. So I need to record me putting on mascara or putting on foundation. And that was like probably the best part because I talked about so much and I didn't get it on film. And I am so upset I could cry. I didn't want to refilm it because it's late. It's almost two in the morning. So yeah, I'm just popping in to let you know that I effed up and yeah. But I will go ahead and let you guys know what stuff I did use. I used the Stila Huge Lash Mask Mascara and the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black together. And for foundation, I used the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition HD foundation in the shade cafe okay carry on so i think i'm just gonna stick with just a matte face because i always 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 do highlight and i know it's so hard for me to not use highlight but i think this video we're just, we're just not gonna do it we're not gonna do it so to set all of my face i'm gonna be using the luxury baking powder the banana powder by makeup revolution what we used earlier i set this right underneath my eye i'm not gonna set it too far down and I'm not gonna really bake with it either. I'm gonna pat it in with my sponge. Cause I found like if I bake for too long or just bake in general, I end up getting more creases than I would if I didn't bake, if that makes sense. I love that this brightens up my face too. And for all my fair girls out there, they do have a powder that's called Ghost, I believe. I think I have it. It's um, the ghost one. It's translucent. It doesn't come off white or anything. It does brighten a little bit more, but it is translucent. No color or anything like that. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Morphe PK14 brush. Dip in the same powder and focus more of where I'm going to contour and bronze. So now it's time to bronze up the skin. I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer, perfect for summer and everything like that. It's in the shade Park Ave Princess. Looks like this. It's not as dark enough to contour with, so I'm just going to bronze up with it. And then I'll be using my NYX Contour Kit. If you act like you're surprised. Same one I've been using for over a year now. Can't stop using it. It's amazing. Can't help it. Using that same brush I just used to set my face. Taking my M530 brush to use in the NYX contour kit. Next for blush, I'm going to be using the NARS Orgasm blush with my Morphe 403 brush. I do want to use a good amount of this to give me some color to my face. So before I do lips, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. Um, I decided to do them last because I honestly didn't know what I was going to do with the rest of my face. So to make it easier, I wanted to wait and do it at the end of the video. So let's do it. So I'm going to be using Dark Brown by e.l.f. It's the just a pomade. So because I have been going just a little bit more natural with my eyebrows, I'm just going to fill them in or they need to be filled like on the tail and then go in with 
clear brow gel and then that's about it. And the brow gel that I'll be using is the NYX Control Freak. I just like to brush my hairs up, kind of give it like a feathery look. So it's more natural looking, I guess. For lips, I'm going to be using the Tarte Lip Paint in this shade Delish. It's got like my little sample size. And then I'm going to use my NYX Lingerie Lipstick in this shade 03. Lace Detail, maybe? I really don't know. I can never tell what the flipping names are on these. I'm going to go in with the Tarte one first. I'm going to do kind of like an ombre lip. And then I'm going to put the NYX color in the middle, and I'm just going to dab it out with my finger. I like doing stuff like this, so it makes me look like I have bigger lips than I really do, and I want them Kylie Jenner lips that she once had. Alright guys, so I think I am completely done. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry that I had a little hiccups in between this video. I have not filmed just a makeup tutorial in a good minute, so... Just ignore everything that happened in this video. I'm sorry that some clips were cut out. I don't know how I did that because I'm really pretty good about knowing if I'm recording or not, but I guess I just never looked up or anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are okay with me being off and on. I know I need to get my shit together, but I don't. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I see you in my next video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and click the bell. That's either right here or right here and when you click that you'll get a notification every time I upload if you did like this please give it a good thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a good thumbs up anyways I would really appreciate it but yeah see you guys in my next video bye